Hello, it's Rachel here to show you around Emma's sign-up forms. We've made it easy for you with a couple of options, lightbox forms and classic forms. First, let's take a look at a lightbox form setup. This form allows you to capture email addresses and a pop-up that will overlay the content of your website. We'll start by giving this form a title and selecting the URL on which you would like the lightbox form to appear. In step two, you can decide which fields you want to display in this form. Once you've selected the fields you want to include, click Next in order to rearrange those fields according to your liking. Now you have the opportunity to give this form some style by editing the copy and colors. Once you've set the style of the form, click Next to assign the group or groups these subscribers should land in. Now that you have your Lightbox form looking the way you want, you'll decide when and where you want this form to appear. First, we'll decide on the location of your Lightbox form. Once the location is set, then we'll toggle over to timing. You can have the form appear immediately or set criteria for how many pages you want your visitor to navigate through before seeing the form or how many seconds of delay you'd like there to be before the form pops up. You can also specify how often you want the form to appear. Now that you have the logistics of the form set up, we can select Next and edit the confirmation message. This message will appear right after a new subscriber signs up. Just as before, you have the opportunity to style the form according to your branding and then click Next. Emma will produce the code that you can embed into your website, so once you have that copied, select Save and Activate, and you're all set. If you are in need of a static form that lives, for instance, in the header or footer of your website, you'll want to customize a classic form. The fields in your signup forms will populate from the fields you have added in Manage Contact Fields. Just like in Lightbox forms, you'll want to select what group new contact should be added to and what message should appear at the top of your form. You can give this form a title, as well as select how often you'd like to be notified of new subscribers. Then, you can review and edit the other messages and settings related to this form. The Thank You tab shows what will display right after someone completes the form. The Confirm It tab shows what plain text confirmation email will send just after someone has signed up. The Track It tab lets you add Google Analytics tracking to your signup form. And the Manage Preferences email tab shows what message will send when an existing contact has made a change to their existing details via this signup form. Once every setting is to your liking, click Save, and then it's time to publish this form. On the Sign Up tab, click Publish This Sign Up Form, and you'll see several options. They range from simply grabbing the URL, to copying JavaScript, which you can style and embed on your site. No matter how you decide to display your form, get it out there and start watching your audience grow.